Hi dear friends, this is Inner Heal Tarot uh, for general reading energy for New Moon in Virgo, August 27, 2022. And if you're staying only for one minute video, today we're going to talk about the shadow energy that's ready to be transmuted uh, in the collective and ready to be manifested in something new and as always i always going to put some uh, advice and um, comments in the not comments but uh, more advice in the video itself so if you leave with me here thank you so much and see you tomorrow okay and if you're staying for more than one minute video let's get to it so the shadow energy that uh, come into play and ready to be transmuted in the collective is the energy of the backstabbing with the sword as still i'm playing with as our archetype energy that's really so sharp and bring clarity i think it's um, it's good for the new moon energy as well you know to have a separation what is ready to go and what is ready to come in and the energy that came out is an energy of backstabbing or the feeling of backstabbing so what kind of backstabbing is this what we see in here um, is the the four of pentacles in reverse the sun uprights and the queen of wands in reverse so the message to me it's kind of saying about the energy with the four of pentacles in reverse is someone who's backstabbing you in terms of financial gain they're probably taking advantage of you um, as you see this guy is so scared of losing of um his uh his pentacles his monetary values his financial gain and the lady death and with time is like you know you're not going to uh take your money to the grave but at the same time when it's reversed it seems like um this stubbornness is not just uh from inside so the feeling of backstabbing yourself but also from outside you know so someone who's been who's been telling you giving you wrong financial advice and make you feel hasty make you feel in a hurry in doing financial decisions um, you see with all of these shadowy hands here it seems like um, so not just one person but some people who really want to take your riches or take your financial source in a, um, in a very deceitful way you know and just kept on saying oh if there's something happened to you what will what will be happen with us and you need to make a will you know something like this or you need to um, put your money in in this currency that currency so basically this is backstabbing you um, with giving you wrong financial advice um, maybe for their own gain so this kind of backstabbing ready to go okay and the second one with the sun upright and these two gentlemen together it feels to me that this is backstabbing energy that come from ourself you know it's uh, our inner critic energy that uh, keep hindering us from moving forward in life and saying that oh but we are good here we already um we already where we wanted to be all along so it's a, it's a backstabbing energy in a way of a self-sabotage and refuse to learn something new and instead keep being in illusion that we are our perfect self right now so this is another backstabbing energy that's ready to go and the third one is the queen of wands energy in reverse so this backstabbing if you see in a pride the queens of wands she's someone who's um, who's the boss you know she's someone who doesn't 
doesn't need any reassurance from anybody she knows that she's attractive she knows that she's in control she has a lot of ideas on what she want to do in life and she's doing it with in reverse this is someone or some people or some communities that make you convinced that yourself is otherwise you know someone who deny uh, the worthiness of you and someone who keeps who keep criticizing you probably from your looks even though you're the queen of wands they will say ah oh, your nose is too big like sorry to say <laughs> your appearance is uh, horrible um, you're not uh, the standard of beauty so it's probably going to be harder for you to find uh, a match you know i mean this queen of wands look at her she's so fierce but in not in a traditional way and a lot of times when we see now it's not so much and times are changing but deep in our mind we're still listening to what other people say about us a lot of times right especially when it comes from our family and this judgment of our appearance is felt crushing when it comes more from the people that supposedly love us dearly you know and they fail to recognize that we are our own sovereign um, entity and we have we are all beautiful yeah so this is the energy of backstabbing that um, that ready to go basically from our consciousness from the collective okay so with this energy what kind of um, um, our attitude what kind of embodiments of attitude um, that we can approach that we can give to approach this and transmute this energy um, from ourself and also from other people let's see it so it's the energy of the nine of cups of course so the nine of cups is the energy of celebratory the energy of joy the energy of happiness the energy of wish fulfillment so with this energy um, to to transmute this energy of people who are giving you wrong financial advice is just also to to tell them you know that you are happy where you are um, I think I have been making a pretty good uh, financial choices so far thank you so much for your advice but I will revise again um, your advice with the help of my professional you know my uh, or get a second and third opinion on things and I will do my own research you know and with this four of pentacles energy sometimes it's someone who's really stubborn to let go of their financial gain or their their worldly possession if you will so maybe with with this one um, you can also try to think why am I doing this to myself and why am I listening to these people's suggestions you know so maybe that can be something that you can journal with and with maybe you can be less stingy you know and treat yourself for a nice stuff or a nice experience that you have been denied yourself for a while maybe and also you're not able to do because of the pandemic and things like this so maybe you can start to shift this this hold on too tight with financial gain with the happiness what makes you happy what all of this money for you know what makes it happy if it's not if money is not the case because the money is not the case what can make me happy you know so let's transmute that let's turn all of this energy of tightness into the fluidity of emotion okay emotion and happiness and with the sun energy with the self-critic is the same basically 
ask ourselves, ask our shadow of the inner critic, what do they actually need from you right now? What is, um, for example, if, if you have something that's saying to yourself that really harshly, for example, oh, you look fat or your belly looks really big and ask, ask the shadow then, what do you mean? What do you need from me? Do you need me to go fitness? Do you need me to go on more yoga classes? What kind of food do you need? So this kind of kind and in happiness and in joy asking our own inner critic can probably help us okay please take it also as resonance i'm just i'm just saying um as an example okay and the third one with the queen of wands in reverse for people who criticize of our looks of our um, culture or our outlook in life with we can transmute this energy with the nine of cups of cups energy by just laughing just take it lightly just laugh you know life is too short to to convince other people that you're worth it that you're worth it their time i trust that you are worth it and there's the reason your soul want to be in the earth right now okay and and minding minding other people saying about you that you're not the queen of wands is bullshit sorry to say this but you are worth more than that you are the queen of wands okay you can you have gazillions ideas and you have your tribe okay and they will they will support you the people who don't support you doesn't worth your time okay so that is the message of this transmutation energy uh, work okay so and with this transmutation what can be manifested from this let's see the energy the energy is the eight of wands energy and the tower okay so this is a big one so if we if we handle this energy of backstabbers within us and without us outside us with the energy of happiness and joy what happened next is what can be manifested is the eight of wands which is like a lot of new opportunities coming out for you because if you give give up um, all of this latching on to negativity energy towards you then suddenly a lot of uh, new opportunities you know with this uh, capricorn symbol of the ram it's something that very practical and very fast it's coming towards you because this is also the the new moon in virgo the time for practicality so the ideas that comes in the vicinity of the collective will be something that very fast and very practical and it will be available to you if you approach all of this shadow backstabbing energy with this happiness and joy energy okay and what happened next is also you can change the structure that's been stifling you with this tower energy the tower is always um, something that um, hit and crumble down the foundation of the tower itself that doesn't mm, it's not strong anymore or it doesn't serve anymore to you so with this energy and uh, to to alleviate or to get not to get rid of but to alleviate this energy this backstabbing energy around you you actually can change the fundamental you can help the change of fundamental how community around you sees you and sees life with this tower 
Okay, so that is the message of today in the new moon in Virgo. I hope it helps. If you find this resonate with you, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment so I know that um, some or all or none of these messages resonate with you at all. Thank you so much and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.